Welcome to Hollywood Inside 1960s. In this episode, we will explore the shocking cases of 30 celebrities and famous people who were shockingly murdered. From the shocking departures in the entertainment industry to the mysterious deaths with unknown causes, which one is the most horrifying story? Let's uncover the mysteries behind these heinous crimes and commemorate the legacies of those who left too soon. Let's go! Number 30, Sal Mineo, known for his compelling performances in the 1950s and 1960s, especially in the iconic role of John Plato Crawford in Rebel Without a Cause, met a tragic end on February 12, 1976. At the age of 37, he fell victim to a brutal murder outside his apartment in West Hollywood, California. The circumstances surrounding Mineo's death shocked both fans and the entertainment industry. He was stabbed multiple times in the chest while returning home from a rehearsal. The motive behind his murder remained a mystery for years, but investigations suggested it was a botched robbery. Mineo's wallet and other personal belongings were found scattered near the crime scene, indicating a possible struggle. News of Mineo's untimely demise spread quickly, sparking widespread sorrow and disbelief. Fans mourned the loss of a talented actor whose promising career was abruptly cut short by senseless violence. His death left a void in Hollywood, and the investigation into his murder continued for years, although the case remained unsolved for a significant period, adding to the tragedy surrounding his life and legacy. Number 29, Rebecca Sheffer, a promising young actress, emerged in the entertainment industry in the late 1980s. She gained recognition for her role as Patricia Patty Russell in the popular sitcom My Sister Sam. Tragically, Sheffer's promising career was tragically cut short on July 18, 1989, when she was brutally murdered at the age of 21. An obsessed fan named Robert John Bardo, who had been stalking her for months, shot her at her apartment doorstep in Los Angeles. Bardo's fixation on Sheffer had escalated to a horrifying conclusion, resulting in her untimely death. The shocking and senseless nature of Schaefer's murder deeply affected both the entertainment industry and the public. Her tragic death raised awareness about the dangers of celebrity obsession and the need for increased security measures for public figures. It prompted changes in legislation regarding stalking and privacy rights, leaving a lasting impact on Hollywood. Number 28, Natalie Wood, a beloved Hollywood actress, rose to prominence in the 1950s and 1960s. She captivated audiences with her performances in iconic films such as Rebel Without a Cause and West Side Story, earning her critical acclaim and establishing her as one of the leading actresses of her time. Tragically, Natalie Wood's life came to a shocking end on November 29, 1981, when she was just 43 years old. She was found drowned near Catalina Island, off the coast of California. The circumstances surrounding her death remain mysterious and controversial. Speculation and theories about the events leading to Wood's death abound, with questions raised about the role of her husband, actor Robert Wagner, and fellow actor Christopher Walken, who were with her on the night of her death. Despite investigations and inquiries, no definitive conclusion has been reached, leaving her death shrouded in uncertainty. News of Natalie Wood's untimely death deeply saddened fans around the world, with many expressing shock and disbelief. Her passing marked the loss of a talented actress and left an enduring impact on Hollywood and cinema history. Number 27, John Lennon, a legendary musician and member of the iconic band The Beatles, rose to prominence in the 1960s. He gained worldwide fame not only for his musical talents but also for his activism and outspokenness on various social issues. Lennon's most iconic role was as a member of The Beatles, where his songwriting and vocal abilities left an indelible mark on the music industry. Tragically, 
Lennon's life was cut short on December 8, 1980, when he was just 40 years old. He was fatally shot outside his apartment building in New York City by Mark David Chapman, a mentally unstable fan. The news of Lennon's murder sent shockwaves around the world, leaving fans devastated and mourning the loss of a cultural icon. Candlelight vigils were held in his honor, and his music soared in popularity once again as people celebrated his life and mourned his untimely death. Do you still remember John Lennon and this terrible incident? Please leave a comment about Lennon to express your condolences. Number 26, Dominique Dunn, an aspiring young actress, gained prominence in the late 1970s. She is best known for her role as Dana Freeling in the classic horror film, Poltergeist, released in 1982. Dunn's portrayal of Dana, the teenage daughter in a family terrorized by supernatural forces, showcased her talent and potential as an actress. Tragically, Dominique Dunn's promising career and life were cut short on October 30, 1982, when she was just 22 years old. She was strangled by her ex-boyfriend, John Sweeney, during a heated argument outside her West Hollywood home. Despite efforts to revive her, Dunn succumbed to her injuries five days later, shocking her family, friends, and fans. The brutal and senseless nature of Dunn's murder deeply affected those who knew her and fans who admired her work. Her untimely death sparked conversations about domestic violence and the need for greater awareness and resources to support victims. Dominique Dunn's legacy lives on through her work and the impact she had on the entertainment industry, although her promising career was tragically cut short by a senseless act of violence. Number 25, Carl Switzer, best known for his role as Alfalfa in the popular Our Gang comedies of the 1930s, rose to fame during the golden age of Hollywood. His portrayal of Alfalfa, the iconic character with his trademark cowlick, endeared him to audiences worldwide. Tragically, Carl Switzer's life came to a shocking end on January 21, 1959, when he was just 31 years old. He was shot and killed during an altercation over money in a dispute involving a hunting dog. The circumstances surrounding his death remain somewhat unclear, with conflicting accounts of what transpired that fateful day. Switzer's untimely death shocked fans and colleagues alike, leaving a void in the entertainment industry. Despite his early exit from the spotlight, his legacy as Alfalfa endures, and he remains an integral part of Hollywood history. Number 24, Adrienne Shelley, an actress and filmmaker, gained prominence in the 1990s for her work in independent cinema. She became known for her roles in films such as The Unbelievable Truth and Trust, which showcased her talent and versatility as an actress. Tragically, Adrienne Shelley's promising career and life were cut short on November 1, 2006, when she was just 40 years old. She was found dead in her Greenwich Village apartment in New York City, hanging from a shower rod. Initially, her death was deemed a suicide, but further investigation revealed evidence suggesting foul play. It was later discovered that Shelley had been murdered by Diego Pilco, a construction worker who was doing renovation work in her apartment building. Pilco confessed to the crime, stating that he had become enraged during a dispute with Shelley over noise from the construction. The news of Adrian Shelley's tragic death shocked the film community and her fans, who mourned the loss of a talented artist. Her legacy lives on through her impactful work in film and the lasting impression she made on those who knew her. Number 23, Phil Hartman, a beloved comedian and actor, rose to prominence primarily in the 1980s and 1990s. He became a familiar name through his work on the comedy show, Saturday Night Live, 
and his iconic voice acting in The Simpsons, where he voiced characters like Troy McClure and Lionel Hutz. It was a heart-wrenching moment when Phil Hartman's life came to an end on May 28, 1998, at the age of 49. His wife, Bryn Hartman, tragically shot him before taking her own life in a murder-suicide. The news of Hartman's death shook the entertainment industry and deeply saddened fans worldwide. Phil Hartman's passing was a profound loss to the comedy and entertainment world. His perfect timing, versatility, and ability to bring characters to life endeared him to audiences everywhere. The circumstances surrounding his death shed light on the complexities of mental health and family issues, sparking conversations about support and intervention. Even years after his passing, Phil Hartman's legacy lives on, with his memorable performances continuing to bring joy to audiences and his influence felt across the comedy scene. Number 22, Dimebag Daryl, born Daryl Lance Abbott, was a renowned guitarist who gained fame primarily in the 1990s as a founding member of the heavy metal bands Pantera and later Damage Plan. He was celebrated for his distinctive guitar style, characterized by its powerful riffs, intricate solos, and innovative techniques. Tragically, Dimebag Daryl's life was abruptly cut short on December 8, 2004, at the age of 38. While performing on stage with Damage Plan at the Al Rosa Villa nightclub in Columbus, Ohio, he was shot and killed by a disturbed fan named Nathan Gale. The incident shocked the music world and devastated fans worldwide. Dimebag Daryl's untimely death marked the loss of a legendary figure in the metal community. His contributions to the genre were immeasurable, and his influence on future generations of guitarists is undeniable. Fans continue to honor his memory through his music, and his legacy lives on as a testament to his unparalleled talent and enduring impact on heavy metal music. Number 21 Dorothy Stratton, a Canadian model and actress, rose to prominence in the late 1970s. She gained widespread recognition as the Playboy Playmate of the Month for August 1979 and was named Playmate of the Year in 1980. Tragically, Dorothy Stratton's life was cut short on August 14, 1980, at the age of 20. She was brutally murdered by her estranged husband, Paul Snyder, who then took his own life in a murder-suicide. The news of Dorothy Stratton's untimely death shocked the entertainment industry and her fans. Her tragic story highlighted the dark side of fame and the exploitation often faced by young women in the entertainment industry. Despite her short life, Dorothy Stratton's legacy endures, and she is remembered as a symbol of beauty, talent, and the dangers of stardom. Next up are the horrifying assassination cases. Stay tuned until the end of the video to explore them together. Number 20. Victor Killian, a respected character actor, was predominantly famous in the 1930s and 1940s. He is best remembered for his roles in classic films like Drums Along the Mohawk and His Girl Friday. It's heart-wrenching that Victor Killian's life came to an unexpected end on March 11, 1979, at the age of 88. He was brutally attacked in his own home during a robbery. Two perpetrators, young men, broke into his apartment, assaulted him, and left him to perish. The news of Killian's death rocked the entertainment industry and saddened admirers of his work. The irrationality and violence of Victor Killian's death underscored the dangers individuals face, even in old age. His passing marked the loss of a talented actor, and his contributions to the world of cinema continue to be celebrated. Despite the tragedy surrounding his death, Victor Killian's legacy lives on through his memorable performances and the impact he made in the film industry throughout his career.
Number 19. Marvin Gaye, a legendary singer-songwriter, emerged as a prominent figure primarily in the 1960s and 1970s. One of Marvin Gaye's most iconic albums, What's Going On, released in 1971, addressed pressing social and political issues of the time, including poverty, war, and environmental degradation. This album cemented his reputation as a groundbreaking artist who used his platform to advocate for change. Tragically, Marvin Gaye's life was cut short on April 1, 1984, at the age of 44. He was fatally shot by his own father, Marvin Gaye Sr., during a domestic altercation at their home in Los Angeles, California. The news of Gaye's death shocked the music world and devastated fans worldwide. Marvin Gaye's legacy endures through his timeless music, which continues to inspire and resonate with audiences across generations. His contributions to the world of music and his impact on social consciousness remain unparalleled, solidifying his place as one of the greatest musicians of all time. Number 18, Selena Quintanilla, often referred to simply as Selena, was a beloved American singer, songwriter, and fashion icon who rose to prominence in the late 1980s and early 1990s. She is often hailed as the queen of Tejano music for her contributions to the genre, blending traditional Mexican music with contemporary pop. Tragically, Selena's life was cut short on March 31, 1995, at the age of 23, when she was fatally shot by Yolanda Saldivar, the president of her fan club, during a confrontation in Corpus Christi, Texas. The news of her untimely death sent shockwaves through the music industry and deeply saddened her fans, who mourned the loss of a talented and beloved artist. Selena's legacy continues to thrive long after her passing. Her music remains influential, and her impact on Latin music and culture is immeasurable. She is remembered as an icon whose music and spirit will forever live on in the hearts of her fans. Number 17. Princess Diana, often referred to as the People's Princess, rose to prominence in the 1980s and 1990s. Her marriage to Prince Charles, the heir to the British throne, captured the world's attention, making her one of the most recognizable and beloved figures of her time. However, her most iconic role wasn't as a royal, but as a humanitarian. Diana's tragic death occurred on August 31, 1997, at the age of 36. She was fatally injured in a car crash in the Pont de l'Alma tunnel in Paris, France. The circumstances surrounding her death sparked intense speculation and conspiracy theories, fueled by the paparazzi pursuit that led to the accident. Despite efforts to save her, including emergency surgery, Diana succumbed to her injuries, leaving the world in shock and mourning. The shock and grief that followed Diana's death were unprecedented. Millions of people around the globe expressed profound sadness at the loss of a compassionate and charitable figure who had touched the lives of so many through her philanthropic endeavors. Her passing prompted an outpouring of tributes and remembrances, and her legacy as a champion of humanitarian causes continues to inspire people worldwide. Number 16, Sam Cooke, a legendary figure in the history of soul music, rose to prominence in the late 1950s and early 1960s. He became known for his smooth voice, charismatic stage presence, and groundbreaking contributions to the genre. One of his most iconic songs, A Change Is Gonna Come, not only showcased his immense talent but also became an anthem for the civil rights movement. Tragically, Sam Cooke's life was cut short on December 11, 1964, at the age of 33. He was fatally shot under mysterious circumstances at a motel in Los Angeles, California. The details surrounding his death remain shrouded in controversy and speculation, with conflicting accounts of the events leading up to his tragic end. While the exact motive behind Cooke's murder remains uncertain, 
His untimely death shook the music industry and his devoted fanbase to the core. Many mourned the loss of a musical genius whose influence extended far beyond his time, and whose legacy continues to inspire generations of artists. Number 15, Sharon Tate rose to prominence in the 1960s. It was her role as Jennifer North in the 1967 film, Valley of the Dolls, that solidified her status as a rising star. Tragically, Tate's life was cut short on August 9, 1969, when she was brutally murdered at the age of 26. She was eight and a half months pregnant at the time. Tate, along with four others, was viciously killed by members of the Manson family cult at her home in Los Angeles. The motive behind the murders was believed to be linked to cult leader Charles Manson's desire to incite a race war. The news of Tate's horrific death shocked the world and sent shockwaves through Hollywood. Her promising career was abruptly ended, leaving fans and colleagues devastated. The brutality of the crime and Tate's innocence added to the public's outrage and sorrow sparking widespread fear and concern about the safety of public figures. Tate's tragic death remains one of the most infamous and haunting events in Hollywood history. Are you a fan of hers? Please comment Tate to remember this beautiful yet unfortunate actress. Number 14, Diane Fossey, an American primatologist, emerged as a prominent figure in the 1970s for her groundbreaking research and advocacy efforts to protect mountain gorillas in Rwanda. She established the Karasok Research Center in Rwanda Volcanoes National Park, where she conducted extensive studies on gorilla behavior and social dynamics. Through her research, Fossey became deeply connected to the gorillas and dedicated her life to their conservation. Tragically, Fossey's life was cut short on December 26, 1985, at the age of 53. She was brutally murdered in her cabin at the Karasok Research Center. The motive behind her murder remains unclear, although it is suspected to be linked to her conservation efforts and conflicts with poachers and authorities. Fossey's death shocked the conservation community and sparked international outrage. Her legacy, however, lives on through her pioneering research and advocacy work which continue to inspire conservationists worldwide. The Diane Fossey Gorilla Fund International, established in her memory, remains committed to protecting gorillas and their habitats, ensuring that Fossey's legacy endures for generations to come. Number 13, Susan Cabot was a talented actress who gained prominence during the 1950s and early 1960s. Cabot's most iconic role came in the 1959 film, The Wasp Woman, where she portrayed a cosmetics magnate who turns to an experimental serum derived from wasps in a desperate attempt to retain her youth. Tragically, Cabot's life came to a shocking and violent end on December 10, 1986, at the age of 59. She was found dead in her home in Encino, California, with fatal injuries caused by blunt force trauma to her head. The investigation revealed that Cabot's son, Timothy Scott Roman, had killed her during a violent altercation. Roman, who suffered from schizophrenia, claimed that he had been defending himself during the incident. The news of Cabot's tragic death sent shockwaves through Hollywood and left her fans mourning the loss of a beloved actress. Her untimely demise also brought attention to the challenges faced by families dealing with mental illness and raised awareness about the importance of mental health support and treatment. Despite the circumstances of her death, Susan Cabot is remembered for her contributions to film and her captivating performances on screen. Her legacy lives on through her work, and she remains a respected figure in the history of cinema. Number 12, 
Bob Crane was an actor and radio personality who rose to prominence in the 1960s. He gained widespread recognition for his role as Colonel Robert Hogan in the television sitcom, Hogan's Heroes, which aired from 1965 to 1971. Tragically, Crane's life was cut short on June 29, 1978, at the age of 49, when he was found bludgeoned to death in his apartment in Scottsdale, Arizona. The circumstances surrounding his murder remain shrouded in mystery and controversy. Despite extensive investigations, the case has never been definitively solved, leaving lingering questions and speculation about who was responsible for Crane's death. Crane's murder shocked the entertainment industry and his fans, who were stunned by the violent and untimely end to his life. His death cast a shadow over his legacy, overshadowing his accomplishments as an actor and entertainer. Despite the passage of time, the mystery surrounding Crane's murder continues to capture public interest, and his memory remains a subject of fascination and speculation. Number 11, Lana Clarkson was an actress and model who gained attention for her work in film and television during the 1980s and 1990s. She appeared in a variety of roles, ranging from B-movies to mainstream films, and was known for her striking looks and charisma on screen. However, Clarkson's life came to a tragic end on February 3, 2003, at the age of 40, when she was found dead in the home of music producer Phil Spector. She had been shot in the mouth, and Spectre was subsequently arrested and charged with her murder. The circumstances surrounding Clarkson's death were highly publicized and led to a high-profile trial. Spectre claimed that Clarkson's death was an accidental suicide and that she had kissed the gun. However, after a lengthy legal process, Spectre was found guilty of second-degree murder in 2009 and sentenced to 19 years to life in prison. Clarkson's tragic death shocked the entertainment industry and prompted discussions about the dangers faced by aspiring actresses in Hollywood. Her untimely passing also brought attention to the issue of domestic violence and the need for greater awareness and support for victims. Despite the circumstances of her death, Lana Clarkson is remembered for her contributions to film and television and is fondly recalled by those who knew her. Her legacy serves as a reminder of the fragility of life and the importance of seeking justice for victims of violence. Number 10, Grimmy rose to prominence when she participated in the sixth season of the reality TV show, The Voice, in 2014. She impressed both the judges and the audience with her exceptional talent and finished in third place overall. The fame from the show propelled her into the spotlight and expanded her influence worldwide. It was heartbreaking when Grimmy's life was tragically cut short on June 10, 2016, when she was shot and killed while signing autographs after a concert in Orlando, Florida. The assailant, identified as a disturbed fan, committed suicide immediately after the attack. The news of Grimmy's sudden and senseless death shook the music industry and her fans, who mourned the loss of a young and talented artist. Her death sparked discussions about security measures at public events and the safety of performing artists. Despite her untimely passing, Grimmy's music and legacy continue to inspire her fans, and she is remembered as a gifted singer and a shining star taken too soon. Number 9, John F. Kennedy, often referred to as JFK, was the 35th President of the United States, serving from January 20, 1961, until his assassination on November 22, 1963. Kennedy's presidency, known as the Camelot Era, was marked by significant domestic and international challenges, including the Cuban Missile Crisis, the Bay of Pigs invasion, and the Civil Rights Movement. He is also remembered for his ambitious space exploration initiative, which culminated in the Apollo moon landing in 1969. Tragically, Kennedy's life was cut short when he was assassinated in Dallas, Texas, while riding in a motorcade with his wife, Jacqueline Kennedy. 
Lee Harvey Oswald was arrested for the crime but was himself killed two days later by Jack Ruby before he could stand trial. Kennedy's assassination shocked the nation and the world, sparking numerous conspiracy theories that persist to this day. Kennedy's death left an indelible mark on American history and culture, with his legacy enduring as a symbol of idealism, leadership, and the promise of a brighter future. His inaugural address, with its famous line, Ask not what your country can do for you. Ask what you can do for your country, continues to inspire generations of Americans to public service and civic duty. Number 8. Robert F. Kennedy, often referred to as RFK, was a politician, lawyer, and the younger brother of President John F. Kennedy. Born on November 20, 1925, in Brookline, Massachusetts, he served as the 64th United States Attorney General from 1961 to 1964 and as a U.S. Senator from New York from 1965 until his assassination in 1968. The assassination of Robert F. Kennedy took place on June 5, 1968, at the Ambassador Hotel in Los Angeles, California. Kennedy had just concluded his campaign as the Democratic Party's presidential candidate for the 1968 election with a speech at the Ambassador Ballroom. While walking through the hotel's corridor, he was shot by Saran Saran, a 24-year-old Palestinian man, with a handgun, causing serious injuries. Kennedy was struck in the head and body. He was rushed to the Good Samaritan Hospital, where doctors attempted to save him, but he passed away on June 6, just a few hours after being shot. Saran Saran was apprehended immediately following the assassination and was later sentenced to life in prison. Kennedy's legacy continues to inspire future generations, who remember him as a passionate advocate for social change and a beacon of hope during tumultuous times. Number 7. Marie Trintignant was a French actress known for her talent and versatility on screen. Born on January 21, 1962, in boulogne billancourt France, she came from a family deeply rooted in the film industry, with her mother being the renowned actress Nadine Trintignant and her father, Jean-Louis Trintignant, a respected actor. Tragically, Trintignant's life was cut short on August 1, 2003, at the age of 41, when she succumbed to injuries sustained during a violent altercation with her partner, musician Bertrand Cantat, in a hotel room in Vilnius, Lithuania. Cantat, who was the lead singer of the popular French rock band Noir Désir, was later convicted of her manslaughter and sentenced to eight years in prison. The news of Trintignant's untimely death shocked the French entertainment industry and the public, sparking discussions about domestic violence and the treatment of women in relationships. Her tragic passing left a void in the world of cinema, robbing it of a talented artist whose contributions continue to be remembered and celebrated. Relationships can indeed be complex, and handling them with calmness could prevent many heartbreaking stories, don't you think? Number 6. Monica Speer was a Venezuelan actress, model, and beauty queen who rose to prominence for her talent and charisma. Born on October 1, 1984, in Maracaibo, Venezuela, she began her career as a model, winning the title of Miss Venezuela in 2004 and representing her country in the Miss Universe pageant the same year. Tragically, Speer's life was cut short on January 6, 2014, at the age of 29, when she and her ex-husband were fatally shot during a robbery while on vacation in Venezuela. Their young daughter survived the attack but was injured. Spears' untimely death shocked Venezuela and the international community, sparking outrage over the country's high crime rates and the lack of security. Her passing was mourned by fans and colleagues alike, who remembered her as a talented actress, devoted mother, and symbol of beauty and grace.
Number 5. Eddie Hassel, born on July 16, 1990, emerged as a prominent figure in the early 2000s. His breakthrough role came in the iconic film, The Kids Are All Right, in 2010, where he portrayed Clay, earning him widespread recognition. Tragically, Eddie Hassel's life was cut short on November 1, 2020, when he was just 30 years old. He was fatally shot during what appeared to be a carjacking attempt in Grand Prairie, Texas. The sudden and violent nature of his death shocked fans and the entertainment industry alike. Social media platforms were flooded with messages of disbelief and grief as fans mourned the loss of the talented actor. Hassel's untimely demise served as a stark reminder of the unpredictable dangers that can befall even those in the public eye. Number 4. Stephanie Mosley, a rising star in the entertainment industry, gained prominence in the late 2000s. Her most iconic role came as a dancer in the hit television series, Hellcats, which aired from 2010 to 2011. Tragically, Stephanie Mosley's life was brutally ended on December 8, 2014, at the age of 30. She was murdered by her husband, rapper Earl Hayes, in a murder-suicide in their Los Angeles home. The news of Mosley's shocking death sent shockwaves through the entertainment world and her fanbase. Many expressed disbelief and sorrow at the loss of such a talented and vibrant young woman. Her untimely demise served as a stark reminder of the prevalence of domestic violence and its devastating consequences. Mosley's memory continues to be honored by those who were touched by her work and saddened by her tragic end. Number 3. Nipsey Hussle, born Ermi as Joseph Askadam, rose to prominence in the late 2000s and early 2010s as a rapper, entrepreneur, and community activist. He became a symbol of hope and empowerment for his contributions to his hometown of Los Angeles, particularly in the Crenshaw neighborhood where he grew up. One of his most iconic projects was his mixtape series, The Marathon, which garnered critical acclaim and a dedicated fan base. Tragically, Nipsey Hussle's life was cut short on March 31, 2019, when he was just 33 years old. He was fatally shot outside his clothing store, Marathon Clothing, in Los Angeles. The news of his sudden and violent death sent shockwaves throughout the music industry and beyond. Fans and fellow artists alike mourned the loss of not only a talented musician but also a beloved community leader. The motive behind Hustle's murder was speculated to be rooted in personal disputes, although the exact circumstances remain unclear. Regardless, his death sparked an outpouring of grief and tributes from fans, who celebrated his legacy of resilience, entrepreneurship, and dedication to uplifting his community. Number 2, Bai Jing, a Chinese actress, rose to prominence in the late 1990s and early 2000s. However, she became widely known for her role in the 2010 film, Kung Fu Wing Chun, where she portrayed the legendary Chinese folk heroine Yim Wing Chun. Her portrayal of the courageous and skilled martial artist captivated audiences, solidifying her status as a talented actress. Tragically, Bai Jing's promising career and life were abruptly cut short on February 28, 2012, when she was just 28 years old. She was brutally murdered by her husband, who was later arrested and charged with her death. The news of her untimely demise sent shockwaves through the entertainment industry and her fanbase. Many expressed disbelief and sorrow, mourning the loss of such a talented actress. Bai Jing's tragic death served as a reminder of the grim realities that can lurk behind the glitz and glamour of fame. Number 1. Christy Schoen, a talented chef and contestant on the reality cooking show, Food Network Star, in 2012, was known for her culinary skills and vibrant personality. She showcased her passion for cooking and innovative recipes throughout the competition, capturing the hearts of viewers with her charm and expertise in the kitchen. Sadly, Christy Schoen's life was brutally taken on March 14, 2015, at the age of 38. 
she and her husband, J.T. Codd, were murdered in their North Carolina home. The couple's remains were found in the suspect's wood stove. Robert Jason Owens was later arrested and charged with their deaths. The motive behind the crime was speculated to be linked to robbery, as Owens had worked for the couple as a contractor. The shocking and grisly nature of Schoen's death deeply affected not only her family and friends but also the culinary community and fans of the show. Many expressed disbelief and sorrow at the loss of such a vibrant and talented chef. Schoen's memory continues to be honored through her culinary legacy and the impact she made on those who knew her or followed her career. Thank you for joining us on this riveting journey through Hollywood's darker tales. If you found these stories as compelling as we did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Hollywood Inside 1960s for more intriguing content. Your support helps us continue to unravel mysteries and delve into the fascinating world of entertainment history. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring.